Oh yeah, we're doing it. It's happening. <gasps> Mirror? Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, that's good. Um, what do we play on turn one? Don't really want to trade. Kithian seems great. Feel like with Lieutenant and always watching, I don't really want to trade, but at the same time, kind of want to deter them from attacking. And if I play Anointer, they could just play Lieutenant and still attack, so I'll just play Kithian. Maybe it'll change what they do, maybe not. Nope. All right, I'm blocking, I think. What happens if I block, though? The next turn I play Lieutenant? Or do I hope that they actually play land three so I can play Anointer and then play Knight into Lieutenant? Hmm. Yeah, I'm blocking. I feel like I just fall too far behind. Pretty good odds to just draw one drop also. Okay, well now we can just play Knight. Since we have another copy. Opponent does play land three, might play always watching, and then they can get in for some damage. Uh, Lieutenant's also reasonable. And then a hunter, yeah, their, their draw is a lot better than mine. But might still be okay with some 3-3 uh, three, three knights. Hopefully we don't get stoned. If we do, we're in big trouble. Okay. That kind of makes things tough too, but we, we still have a lot of good double blocks, so they might not even be able to attack. Yeah. All right, so we can play our own Always Watching and a Kithian. And then we could attack with our Knights and they can just do double blocks. Uh, so I don't really want to do that, but I also don't want to get them stoned. It might be worth it to actually just like trade off a Knight here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I feel like if they had stone, they would have used it last turn. Don't really like playing the land there in case they draw a knight. Alright, so they have 4-4 four, four lieutenants. Uh, if I attack with Night Knight Kithian, get to transform Kithian, uh, I assume they're not going to block, and then I can just like play some more stuff. Oh, you can actually just block the Kithian with a Lieutenant. So maybe I can't even attack this turn. I mean, I can. Uh, I would just have to pay the three mana, which is kind of until... I can just wait until I have Anointer, maybe? So if I attack with Knight Knight Kithian, they put Lieutenant on Kithian. Uh, maybe they go double block, double block. And then I get to play a Gossip Monger and uh, give it Indestructible. And then I have two creatures, or there are three creatures, and then maybe Kithian dies. So yeah, I should probably wait a turn. And this way, I also have a giant lieutenant to deter, uh, deter them from attacking. And then next turn, I just have a huge attack. So, could still end up getting stoned and, like, work down a little bit, I think. I guess, I guess if they're going to draw another inspector, they should have played that land. But if they had the inspector, they would have just played it. So, it is weird to just keep playing your lands. 
Uh, so I should probably start by cracking a clue, but I may want the mana for the Gossip Monger. You know, a 6-6? Six, six? That's so big. Hmm. Magic's hard. Uh, I might just send in a bunch of stuff and see what happens. Uh, I could send two knights, Lieutenant Kithy and Gossip Monger. Uh, I could also send Inspector because I have Anointer, because they only have three toughness things. So attack with everyone that's not Anointer. Alternatively, I could just send the Anointer, but... Then I'd, I'd probably force to anoint the Anointer. And then maybe they could, like, double block the Inspector. So, yeah, I think this is better. So they get to eat one of my things with Lieutenant, but they're also probably just taking a bunch of damage, and then we have Kithian that's going to transform. It's basically just like, eh, you figure it out. It's, like, pretty complicated. I have Anointer. Uh, I have Gossip Monger. Could be like a 3-4, could be a 4-4, four, four. could also anoint stuff. Okay, so they're putting Hunter on the Inspector, which locks me into anointing that, basically. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sent the Inspector. This is still fine though. Get to transform this. Uh, this is three, four. I want to pump here, uh, and then pump this twice. So this looks pretty good. Uh, Kithian transforms, and then I can just untap the anointer. Which, which works in a couple ways, both because it's my worst creature and because it gives me something to actually just block the lieutenant with. So, board cleared up a lot. We still have Gideon, which I think is pretty nice. And they have no good attacks on the swing deck. And so we draw land, not great. Crack our clue. Uh, find a knight, which is Dece. And then what? Probably, I guess we can make their things start having to attack. Uh, alternatively, we could just attack with, like, make the lieutenant indestructible and attack with that. So we can try and start picking off their board or uh, start attacking them. And after two turns, they're going to be put in the Abyss anyway, which is kind of like the plus two. I mean, I'm definitely playing this, and I think I should play my land in case they have stones so I can crack my clue right away. I think I should make their thing attack. So we have seven points of first strike. Uh, so I think I can make them send their lieutenant. Alternatively, we could just trade off lieutenants and then I could force an attack. But then if they have a stone for my two knights, that's really bad. And I don't think they can have two creatures. They can have another lieutenant. So that would be bad. So yeah, we'll just pick off the anointer. But then they can actually like send the lieutenant. And if they have a creature that plus anointer, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so the vigilance is better, I think. The vig vigilance indestructible. Just because I think if I plus two Gideon, too many things can go wrong. 
And then do I want to anoint here? Seven puts him to six. Yeah, I think I want the blocker. In case they have stone for my two knights. Yeah, that's a hell of a draw. Like, counter on Lieutenant plus a redraw is so sick. So if they hit a stone, like... Could be bad times. Still no attacks, all right. Drew land, not great. So now they're just in the abyss. So I think we just keep doing that. There's not a huge reason to play a land this turn. It's possible that we chain off with like inspectors or something, but it's not likely. Oh, Grispoon. Yeah, that's good. Forgot about that card. That card definitely should have factored into the equation somehow. Yeah, so this is going to take out Gideon, and then we need to trade off lieutenants. Still think this is a pretty good attack. They can put Anointer on my Anointer, Lieutenant on 4-4 four, four Knight, Hunter on Lieutenant. We end up trading Anointers. And they go to three, and then all my stuff is lethal. So yeah, this seems like a good attack. And I lose one of my knights, which kind of insulates me against stone anyway. Um, I guess they could still just like stone the lieutenant, and it's kind of bad for me. But now I don't lose two things. But eh, even in this spot where I have so many lands, like maybe just getting stoned as a as a twofer would be fine because I get to crack two clues, and it's pretty likely I just end up drawing more spells. But maybe could have played this game a little bit tighter. But yeah, it was still all a pretty big favorite the entire time, and we had a bunch of gas coming up, so. All right, boss, tell me how I sideboard in the mirror. I saw that you cut a forge and an envoy for a boon and a silk wrap. Well, you should cut a dragon hunter, I think. He also sided out and always watching against Gindy in the top eight. Just, like, didn't really want to get flooded on them, which is understandable. They are... Certainly very good, just because, like, anything that you can have to notch your opponent is great, but. But, yeah, you definitely don't want to get flooded on them. So, don't know how Tom sided against Gindy exactly. I do know that he couldn't always watching, though. I'm just going to do what he says in the article. We'll try this. Yeah, hand looks great. I think it, it's pretty easy to play Gossip Monger, turn one, and then they didn't want to offer the trade with Anointer. And I think I just want to play Lieutenant here, uh, which stops them from attacking. So, unless they have uh, a pump spell. Uh, Captain's pretty good. Don't want to transform my Gossip Monger, I don't think. I also don't think I would have played my land if I were them, but... So, beginning of your upkeep, you control four or more, so I don't need to stone that thing right now. Draw another creature, that'd be sweet. Another one drop. Oh, Boon's not bad either. Yeah. <clears throat> 
so here am I booning the lieutenant? It's kind of uh, putting all my eggs in one basket, but kind of in there. It's my biggest threat, so kind of slows me down a decent amount if it gets stoned. So that happens. Trying to remember that we have this Griff Spoon and a Silk Wrap. Wow, okay. That's quite good. So I can't block here because they have Anointer. Well, that was a really good draw. I think I want to get the extra point here. I don't see much use keeping this anointer on D. Can potentially transform this Kithian next turn, which is pretty great. Another stone. I'm clue rich. Oh, geez. Clue flooded now. Okay, okay. One drop, tilt. I think I want to stone their militia captain. Put him to seven. Uh, we still have this Griff Spoon, so we can threaten lethal over the course of two turns, whereas I don't think they can kill us, but they do have a clue and a draw step, which is always scary. Could just be like Thalia's Lieutenant. Eh, or Envoy. Alright, another Always Watching. So then we can make 3-3. Three, three. Okay, stone's nice. So they've drawn three stones and a silk wrap. So if if they're like stock list, they only have one stone left as an actual removal spell. So if I stone the envoy and attack, I think I'm in a really good spot. I guess no matter what, I should just pop this clue first, but I draw an Envoy of my own, which means I can hit him for two. If they chump, that's actually fine. Um, but if I if I go, like, stone it, attack you for three, put him to four, next turn I can boon this and uh, also pump it. Or just play Always Watching or whatever if I hit a land drop. But it's possible that things go more wrong if I just let them chump. I think I may just want to try and get them dead. And then they could, they could have their own boon to have a flying blocker, which would be kind of annoying, but I should be able to go over that with always watching. But yeah, they're just going to die instead. Easy. Easy. Uh, those games were pretty fun and interesting. Uh, a lot of combat stuff going on, a lot of choices for how you choose to sequence your spells. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on as far as, you know, like, what role is each person playing and what are you trying to do? And then it just got to the point where it was like, all right, this board is cluttered. How do we kind of, like, clean this up a little bit and make it so I'm actually a favorite to win? And I think I did a pretty good job of that in the first game, uh, except for, like, I didn't really keep Griff's Boon in consideration, which is probably a mistake. If I did, then maybe I would have offered to trade off Lieutenant a little bit earlier, just because of the, the fear of them drawing a Griff's Boon. Because uh, once Gideon got to, like, uh, 5 and 6, then uh, they couldn't, like, one-shot kill my Gideon. Uh, so probably could have played it around that a little bit better, but I think everything else went pretty well.